tra la la pom pom diga diga do Here's a question just for you Fuddle daddle diddle dee you fee I you When, when, which, why, how, and who If that's asking such a lot Shrimp up a fiddly pom tick tack tot Then just simply guess what Guess what Guess who what? Ba, 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 ba. With Jan Rubesch. This little stamp saves me writing my name and my address over and over again. And when I want to print something else, I take these little letters out, rearrange them, put them together a different way, and I can print again something different. All you have to know is how to read and how to write and how to spell. When I was learning uh, to read, we didn't have little printing sets like these, but we had potatoes. I can show it to you what we used to do. I have some potatoes in my shopping bag. I take my carving board and I will use my knife very carefully. First, you cut up the potato and then you can carve your letters out. Now, what are we going to carve? Let's carve the ABC. You will sing the ABC song, and I will carve out my letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B. Q, R, S, T, U, and V, W, and X, Y, Z, or Z, that rhymes better. Tell me what you think of me. I can carve my A, B, C. Now let's see what we have here. A, B, <laughs> with all that singing, I've forgotten the C. So we have A, B, D, E. Well, there's a little more space left. So let's carve another letter. Let's add an R. Why R? Well, my name starts with R, Rubesh. So, now we have it all done. It says A, B, D, E, R. Let's print it now. A, B, D, E, R. Well, that doesn't make any sense. It sounds like a German word. Well, maybe I'm a German printer. And it was a German printer a long time ago who found the best way how to print books. You see, way back, the only way to get a book was to copy it by hand, write it down, letter by letter, word by word, sentence by sentence. Long bearded men sat in their little rooms with candles, copying and copying. It took years to copy a big book like the Bible. But that was the only way. And then somebody thought of carving letters into a wooden block, like my carving block. And they would carve letters into the wooden block, page at a time, carving. And then they would print it, put ink on it and print it. But what happened if you made a mistake in the middle of the wooden block? You had to start all over again. And then after you finish copying it, printing it, you had to throw your wooden block away. But that took a long time too to carve a whole page. Until this German printer I told you about, Mr. Gutenberg, that was his name. He thought of another idea. Maybe he was playing with a, with a potato like I did and carved a word up there like I did. And then suddenly, do you know what he did? He cut up the potato. Like this. And he wound up with five different letters. Maybe I can show it to you better on in my word game, okay?
So here we have A, B, D, E, R, five separate letters. And you can arrange them whichever way you want. You can put the A here, and you can put the R here, and the here, and what do you have? Something you and I eat every day, bread. And you can take the B away. Can you read this? Read. And then I take the A away, and you color your roses red. And then I take the V away, and you have re. What is re? The second note in your um, scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And that's how Mr. Gutenberg solved the printing problem. All he needed was a bag of letters, and he would arrange the letters into a page, printed the page, and then he took the letters out again, rearranged them, put them together a different way, made another page, and printed it again, and all he needed to print books was a bag of letters. And do you know the first book he printed was the Bible, the big book, with stories of Jonah and of whale and Daniel in the lion's den and uh, Gabriel and his trumpet. I'll sing it to you. Gabriel, blow your trumpet. Gabriel, blow your trumpet loud. 